this movie traumatized me to my core when I first saw it back in 2006. I know I've done a movie, a, 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 two videos about two different movies that have already traumatized me. This one traumatized me even more. So, I'm going to show you it. Shower curtain? This thing's like a fucking piece of toilet paper. <laughs> I shit you not, this triggered a series of panic attacks forever. I, I saw this, I didn't even know this movie was Jeepers Creepers until like, I think six months ago. Six months ago, I was on YouTube and I was watching video clips and this one got recommended to me and I watched it and all the memories came flooding back. I remember being eight years old and I was watching, this was on the TV and I don't know why it was on the TV. Um, and I, that scene, and it was, ex it was this scene. I had a massive panic attack that <laughs> led me to run upstairs to my mom and my dad. I freaked out and it stuck with me. Now keep in mind, this isn't the first beheading I've ever seen in a movie. I watched Star Wars Attack the Clones right around, like, I, like two years before. And I watched Base Windu cut off Jango Fett's head. And that was not a problem. Like, I literally, this movie scared the fuck out of me. I... It could not function at all for like the next few days that followed. I was so bent out of shape because of it. I mean, I sat there and I would freak out. Like, it, they actually made me scared to be on my school bus taking me to school. I was, I was horrified. And that still stuck with me all the time. There would be times before I even found this clip again where I would be sitting there just like thinking about it. Like, God, I really fucking hope that doesn't fucking happen. That is terrifying. And it wasn't really the fact that the guy got decapitated. It was like, there's two, there were two factors in that scene. It was, you can see the guy in the wing, like, screaming or whatever. And then it's the headless body, like, flailing around. That got to be so bad. And I don't know who else this traumatized. Because I know a lot of people loved Jeepers Creepers. Like, when I actually, I watched a lot of Dead Meat. And I've seen people do, I've seen people in the comment section talk about Jeepers Creepers. They talk about how much they love it. Yeah, I watched more clips of it on YouTube, and everyone loves the movies. I always chalked up Jeepers Creepers, because I, I have I, I had heard of Jeepers Creepers. I heard of the, this this movie franchise. I didn't know that this was the franchise that had that scene, but I always heard people talking about how good it was. I never thought about to I never thought to watch it, but it wasn't you know. So everyone loves it, but like when I, so I don't know who all got traumatized by it because I got traumatized by it. Honestly, watching that scene again. <laughs> That was my dog in the background, if you heard that. But watching that scene again actually really made me feel like a child again. I'm not kidding. Like, I felt the same. I felt the same distress that I felt, you know, 22 years ago. Not 22 years ago. Tw well, how level long ago 2006 was. Um, uh, 10 years would have been 2012. 16 years? 16 years sounds about right, okay? I think, I think so. So... And this movie was relatively new in 2006. This movie came out in 2003, so it wasn't that old. And it's amazing I actually went that long, you know, without even seeing this movie clip again. But it stuck with me. Like, out of the many things I can remember out of, the, out of childhood, this one sticks out. Like, I get distressed. I, I got distressed watching this clip again to show it to you guys. And to be fair... I can understand why people like Jeepers Creepers. Like I'm, a, I'm, I'm. I like horror movies. I do like more of the slasher aspect. I think Jeepers Creeper. I don't know. I feel like Jeepers Creepers can be both in the slasher category and the paranormal category. Because first of all, what even is the Jeepers Creep? What even is that? I don't even know. Can somebody tell me what it even is? Because I, I really don't know. But it is absolutely terrifying. It scared me to my core. Made me feel. Like, all this, like, that was the first time ever in my life I ever felt any sort of crisis at all. Then my parents got divorced. But we don't talk about that. We talk about the fact that this movie scared me to a point where it was giving me panic attacks 
Like, and then, then it became a thing to not let, you know, little kid Ryan watch any movies that were scary. Like, I was not allowed to watch them if they were on the TV, on the Nintendo channel, because they would trigger panic attacks. I can watch scary movies now. I can. But, you know, back when I was a kid, it became a thing. Like, you cannot let Ryan watch scary movies alone at all, because they will fuck him up for the next, like, month. And this one did. This one terrified me so bad. And I think... I'm not, I haven't seen the movies. I have watched clips of them on YouTube. So I think I get, I've at least gotten a majority of what goes on. For the most part. So maybe I do need to sit down and watch them. But yeah, no. This scene is terrifying in every aspect. So that's really all I got for you guys in this video. I just wanted to talk about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good day. And as always, stay awesome. Thank you.